Uh, just before the presentation, one announcement in just in the last few days. The project to digitize a half a million pages worth of old Crawford County records got approved by Family Search. And we are, we just had a kickoff meeting today. And so in the next few weeks, it's going to start. A lot of records. But some of those records are folded up in envelopes and are going to need to be pre prepared before they can be digitized. So we'll be looking for volunteers to come and take them out of the envelopes, unfold the pieces of paper and flatten them, take out any uh, staples or fasteners, and put them into file folders so that the person digitizing can then scan them. So just wanted to give you, let you know, big volunteer opportunity for all of us and your friends and family. Uh, we'll tell you more later, but we hope you'll all be involved and try it out. It's actually a lot of fun. How many records did you say? Half a million. Wow. A bunch. Crawford wow. County's got a bunch. And they're all in the archives. Not all of them, but most of them are. Wow. Some of them are in the courthouse, some at the uh, health department. You serve the bureau. And there's, there's some things here at the same time that are in the historic society that will be digitized while they're there too. So we're getting a lot done. Which is all a free service of family search, and we appreciate that. Now, let me get the slides up for our presentation tonight. Not our presentation. Roberta Toby is going to teach us about something that I think will all be familiar to us. Um, Can I mention that they book in my book first? Oh, you go right ahead while I get this up. We're going to talk tonight about the, the old dam, 44. And David, I, I compiled a whole bunch of stuff, and I was going to do a book. And John's got the book at his house and forgot to bring it in. Yeah, sometimes. He's going to bring it to the next meeting if anybody wants to look at it. But this is the book that David Wilkins did. And between what he gathered and what I gathered, there's a lot of stuff on that old damn 44. Really nice, a lot of information. So, uh, if you want to come in sometime and look at the books, that we both of them will be here after next time he, when he brings that other book back. And this presentation is more uh, a little bit about the dam, but other things as well. We hope to have David come back next year and talk more about the dam and the book you wrote, which is really good. That is your book published? No. Okay. I I uh, wanted him to bring it in and show it to Bill, and if Bill wants to if Bill wants to make a book out of it, he can. I'm give, I'm giving him permission to use what I've got. Okay, we are set. How many of you remember the old dam? Is old enough to remember. <laughs> okay, this, this this first picture here, we're going to show you a few slides of Old Town Ledmore before we get started. But I want you to look at all that mud. Can you imagine how them ladies could try to keep their, their shoes clean and their skirts clean? And, and, and the, imagine the store owners and make people would walk in that mud and then go in the store. I'd be afraid somebody would slide on the floor and break their neck. <laughs> and they called those the good old days. Yeah, right? but that would have really been something they have to deal with if you was a store owner. You know, yeah. But, and uh, I don't know why all those men are gathered up there on that, but that's where the button, the button works that David talked about the other day. They're right back there. You can see where it says Lemworth button works on that big building. Yeah, on the right side there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that that's where the button works factory was. Is that downtown? Yeah. Right down the old town. Okay. okay. And that must be piles of old shells that yeah. they're standing yeah. on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Another scene in the bunny roads. That building at the top, up in the upper corner here, uh, that's still there. Yeah, what is that? What, they won't let you in it. That used to be their bank. Wow. 
the Ledward State Bank was in that building. Wow. And uh, there's a, a high water mark on that building that shows how high the water was in 1937. I think it's still on there. If you, have to, if you ever down that way, look up on there and see if you can see that high water mark. Chick's <laughs> place. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. But it used to be the bank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this building down here is, I think it's down there by that little restaurant. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. It's the old Odd Fellows building. Yeah. Somebody's uh yeah. doing something with yeah, it. They, are. Mm -hmm. they put it upstairs and they close the basement. And, and uh, you notice on that button works <coughs> building, it looks like they've got a chute there where they just put that stuff in it and just run down that pipe down in that pile. Mm -hmm. Use those old shells. Yeah. And uh, just got a little facts, a few facts here about the Ohio River. It starts at the confluence of the Monongahela and Allegheny Rivers in Pennsylvania. And uh, one of the presidents said it was the most beautiful river that he ever saw. Thomas Jefferson. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It ends at Cairo, Illinois, or Cairo. I don't know how they say it, but I always call it Cairo. Yeah. Cairo, Illinois, where the Mississippi and Ohio meet. That's where the, the Ohio ends. It's 981 miles long and it drops 429 feet from the uh, where it starts in Pennsylvania to it gets to Cairo, Cairo. It's the 10th longest river in North America. Its name is from the Seneca or the Iroquois, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Means good river. And the original 46 locks and dams were replaced by 19 high-level locks and dams. Wow. And um, the only one closest to us, I believe, is between here and Louisville. Would, but from Louisville, on, uh, the next one down would be at Canada. Mm -hmm. That's the, the next one. So before those locks and 46 locks and dams was built, I guess it was just steamboat traffic? Um... No, I think it had barges on there too, but the river, the river was nine feet deep then, which is nine feet deep. And if we had drought conditions, sometimes they had to wait for rain before they could move on up the river. And also, they started building the barges and those uh, uh, other boats that people ride on. They started building them bigger, and it was hard for them to get through those those locks. So they, they had to make them bigger to get to accommodate the bigger boats and barges. Okay. And and it, I that one thing I found it said that the Ohio River moves more freight per year than the Panama Canal. I found that hard to believe, but I guess it's so. I don't know. I, you know, there's a lot of traffic yeah. goes up and down that river, so yeah. yeah, I believe it. Yeah. It's it's important. Yeah. And on um, here you see the old pump house up on the bank there mm. cool. and now you can go down there and you can walk over to the edge of that bank and you can see if you look down toward the water right there you see where the steps went down you mm -hmm. can act or the last time I was down there you could actually see the top steps going down and that was a, a long drop down from there down to where the the uh they're still uh, there. Locks were. Mm -hmm. They're still so there. From the public house down to the, where the locks were. You can see that building there, and then it goes down that bank, and, and um, no. that's the, the, the locks and the dam. And over on the other side, by the trees, they call them the bear traps. I don't know what their purpose was, but they call them bear traps. And you notice that island there. You can no longer see that island. When they put the new dams in, the river was wow. raised up so high that the river is up to, almost up to that bank now, up to where the I mean up to the where the house, mm -hmm. to where the edge of that bank is. That's how high the river has come up since they put the new dams in. And um, the island is not the water. Yes, it is. It's yeah. a big island and a little island. And then they're showing the. This is a picture of the dams. Do you see the Louisville? And then the next one is Dam 43, uh, which is uh, east of uh, east of Brandenburg, up in Harrison County there, somewhere on between Brandenburg and on um, between 
I'd say it's, I don't know if that would, it, it, I believe it might be east of, uh, of the Mothport, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Or at Mothport, somewhere in that area. Yes, then there's is. Dam 44. Then the next one is Dam 45. And it was uh, before Hamilton. Yeah. And Hallsville. Dam 45. And then the next one down is uh, down by Owensboro. And then the next one is down by Newburgh. Mm -hmm. That's the ones that uh, are <coughs> on the Indiana border. That's mm -hmm. Indiana, Kentucky border. That's the dams that were there. There were more of them on up the river um, bordering Ohio. Well, and actually, we've got a. And yeah. on down <coughs> to the to, to Cairo, I imagine there was more on down towards yeah. Cairo. There yeah. were more. Yeah. Yeah. We've actually got a picture of those steps that you were mentioning. Yeah, right, right there. That go down. The river. last time I went, you could just barely see down through the water the top step. That's how. And you see how, how far that is down through there. That water is up that much higher than it used to be. Mm -hmm. And they, that's the shape the bunkhouse is in now. Well, I think they did some cleaning up down there because some they said somebody bought it. And does anybody know who bought it and what they're going to do with it? No, I heard the rumors were being bought too. I haven't seen that building touched. I mean, it's just still in that same condition as what you see right there. Mm -hmm. Somebody had planned for it, I think, but I don't know what. They it, it was on auction this past yeah. summer. Yeah. The Somebody government bought. auctioned it off. I don't know who bought it. But. I hope it's on hotels. See, I thought the DNR bought it back. I know it was on auction, and then they took it off, from what I heard. Huh. And then, oh, like. Or the city of Glenmore didn't buy because they couldn't afford to maintain it. But I had heard that the DNR, because there was so much controversy about it being up for sale and how they wanted to plot it off. But now I don't know. I was hoping to, because somebody asked me about that yesterday and I said, you know, David, I don't really know. Mm -hmm. I said, but I'm coming tonight and I'll ask, but I don't know. And I've never checked records to see how much public record. The next time I talk to David Wilkins, I'll ask him if he knows. Mm -hmm. He knows about everything about that work. He does. He does. <laughs> yeah. Now, Roberta, let, let's, uh, let me ask that question we were talking about here. I, look, I remember when I was a kid going to Dam 44, and this was excitement to see those barges lock through. Yeah. yeah All was. the, you know, the church groups, family groups. This was a busy place particularly on weekends. Wow. How many of you remember or have stories about going to visit at Dam 44? Uh, what do you remember, Sherry? Just family picnics, that sort of thing, family reunions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we went down this picnic and watched, watched boats go through the, the lock there. Do you guys remember how the, those locks on these small dams weren't big enough for the big toes? So they'd have to move part of the barge, and they'd have to split it up and move it back and then put it back together at the other end of the dam. Yeah. It got to be so much trouble, and the river level got too low sometimes, so that's why they had to make the new dams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. my, yeah. Favorite, my favorite thing was that old fish when he sold fish. Oh, Carver. Willie Carver. Yeah, Willie Carver. Mm -hmm. He couldn't swim a leg. He went over that <laughs> dam and popped up on a can or something because of that. Oh, he went over the dam. Yeah. They thought he was going over there. He popped up. <laughs> See, back in the day, the, the, the dam was wooden wings. <coughs> they yeah. had no, nothing was power or push button or computerized. It was, they mm. would go out in the most adverse conditions and it was all wooden wickets. Mm -hmm. So they yep. would pull those wickets, like railroad ties. They would pull those to let it out or let it in and, and stuff like yeah, that. Dale Beasley worked there and they called him the frog man. <laughs> and he had this underwater outfit he had to put on and he would go down to the bottom of the river and, and work on them wickets under wow. underneath the water. Oh, that's our father. Wow. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah, oh dad. my goodness. I Daddy um, Danny went to work there. Daddy went to work there. Edward was born in fifty five. Yeah, and Danny went to work there then. And then I was born in fifty eight and he he was the last man to watch her go in the river. Wow. So he stayed. And you know a lot about this. Well, you know, I mean, they're old stories. I know it was my daddy's heart and 
so well, we feel free it. to jump in here and tell us what do you want well what, what you want. were saying it kept it like at golf course i mean that place was beautiful and people yeah, came was. they came and picnics and anniversaries and everything yeah it was what clean there wasn't any trash laying around um, or anything my father was there from like 53 i think wow Till oh, 73, so yeah. he was there. I hope they do something with it. I do too. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. And uh, another inner, and I'd like to know more about where the powerhouse is. If anybody's ever seen that pyramid looking thing, oh, yeah. it's right yeah. along the road. Now it's all vine covered and everything, mm -hmm. but it has a brass yeah. ring that's as tall as I am. I mean, it's huge. Really? And I guess I don't know who you know. Dad would always say John Lafitte pulled pulled up there, but I guess it was to tie off, you know, the old old boats at one time. But if you ever get out of your car and get past all that vines, there's a big brass ring on that. Thing. Yeah, they yeah. 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 go up in here for sure. I like to know. Yeah, but hope nobody's showing it. No, it makes me awful hard. I don't see how they should. I don't see how they could. Yeah, but in the book, and they did. They, do you guys have? There's pictures of him in that frog suit. I got him. In my that he's, he's got in his house. Yeah. And next when he rang the thing, I wasn't going to be there to make up so I got in there. But he, he came to my house and he brought me pictures and I got I got pictures from the. Corps of Engineers at Louisville, and I got a picture from the New Albany Library of a boat that was missing the 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 uh, chute to go in to, to go through the, uh, the, oh, yeah, the it was, lock. It was it was missing. I don't know if it, if it all if it went ahead over the dam or not. I can't remember. But uh, I got that picture from New Albany Library. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, your dad did he ever say anything about when they was building that? They had like a lot of houses there. It was like a little town there where, where they was uh, people was living in those houses. They were like those um, like tent city. Yeah. Kind of. wow. Like if you if you go into Stevenson's store yeah. back, I'm like I was asking David about that that machine that you could make a button or something. Back in there is pictures of Gibson and those tin houses and um, like Arthur Gibson. That's why he's. He was the original lock master there. And there's pictures back in there, and you can see those tent houses back in there. Yeah. Yeah. But well, the, see, he wasn't there in the original. He didn't go to, like, the mid-50s. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't well, there. we got more there. stories here. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, well, we want to know great. what we can to know about it, you know, because it's yeah. the thing that's passed now. Yeah. This here, uh, the flood that occurred in 1937, it was like Evansville, Louisville, all kind of places that had lots and lots of damage. It, it left 1 million people homeless, 385 people died, and there was losses of 500 million, which would be almost $11 billion today. And it happened during the Great Depression, which that made it even worse on the people. Uh, just to know, Bill uh, showed me a uh, VCR, or not VCR, a disc here that's got a story about the flood, and it shows old newsreel from that time. It's really interesting if you want to oh, take yeah. a look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. Oh, and more on the flood. Do you want me to go over these? Yeah, because I want you to specifically show me how, show me how the river raised each day, and the, the comments is over here on the back. Okay. I'll, I'll do that. Let me get dialed in here. Okay, now, Roberta told me that here at the Historical Society, they took um, river gauge me measurements and recorded weather information at the dam. Mm -hmm. It was an official government function. Well, Roberta told me that we actually have those official records Someone, here. Someone gave me several boxes of them, and I brought them over here. They're back here in the room. Yeah. And, um, but that was very neat. And, it, and it's a cop, this is a copy. Now, this is not, this is a year before the flood. And if you looked at the 
left hand side it gives the level of the river and so I'll just read a few numbers off here at the beginning of the month it's 10.9 feet during the middle of the month it gets up to 32.1 feet and then at the last part of the month it's 10 10 9 10 and over on this other side it'll say you know cloudy or clear uh, that sort of information but there's one place in there in it like it's 70 or something maybe feet Oh no, this, now this is a oh, year before different. the flood. Oh, okay. So I'm just saying this is what it was, it would be a typical okay. uh, January. Okay. Now, now <coughs> check this out because this is the month, the record from the month of the flood. And I've got to get the down here. So during the month, beginning of the month, it's in it's in the 30s, and by the middle of the month, it's in the 40s, because during that month in the flood, it just kept raining and raining and mm -hmm. raining. And so by the 20th, it's up to 51 feet. Wow. And now, when you get to, I've got to get up here. When you get to the 20, 23rd, it's, they're recording more rain. And they're beginning to move things at 3 p.m. Wow. And on the 24th, it says the oil house is gone. I guess that means it's covered up. And the next day, the old garage building's gone. The following day, something else has, has floated away. Uh, two days after, the town of Leavenworth is flooded. People in Le Leavenworth are leaving. And then on the next to last day, it says, no lives lost yet. Hmm. The last day, it says, looks bad. Up there, one, one place, it says, most of Leavenworth is lost, gone. Most of Leavenworth. See that one? Yeah, most of Leavenworth That's, gone. Uh, yeah, I don't care where the asterisk is. That was like the 84.1 feet. The river was that high. Dang. That must have been the highest point. Feet. 84 feet. Yeah, that was the highest. I looked down through there. That is the highest the river got on that day. And it says, um, the warehouse is gone. Then it says, the next day it says, most of Leavenworth gone. Leavenworth still leaving. It says Leavenworth still leaving. So stuff's still going away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it says, no lives lost yet and looks bad. Mm -hmm. so, you can just feel that's it. That's horrible. Mm -hmm. You know, it's horrible. I can't even picture 81 feet. I can't. I can't even. Well, yeah, and so he got up to, I guess it got up almost to the houses that are right on the hillside in Old Leavenworth. Wow. That's Everything right. else just covered. Yeah. Let's see, pictures of some old steamboats. Um, There's the Majestic down bottom right. <laughs> Selena May over here. Big Mama. <laughs> Big Mama. A big one. Yeah. <laughs> These are really neat. That's the American Queen. Oh, you want to tell, you tell them why they took this picture, though? About being stuck? No, I'll let you tell. Okay. Well, this was, they were taking publicity pictures of the American Queen. And uh, where it was... The 3,708 ton steamboat got worldwide publicity after getting stuck in low water in Troy, near Tell City. It was headed between uh, New Orleans to Pittsburgh on its maiden voyage, and it got stuck on a sandbar. Now, is that boat still around? I believe it is. Mm -hmm. No, wait, man. That's the boat? No, no it's an American. No, like, yeah. This one has a, a steel hull. Yeah. The Delta Queen has a wooden hull, and I don't know where it is these days. Well, that, the, the Delta Queen from Louisville used to have a different name. Maybe that was it. I think it is. No. No. I think it is. no. Oh, I'm not sure. But no, oh, no. you mean the Belle of Louisville? Yeah, Belle of Louisville. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. No, that's a newer. That's a newer. That was the Apple. Yeah, this, oh, okay. is, this was a newer. Matter of fact, was this built in Jeff Boats? I think. I think part of it was. But it's huge. <coughs> it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Did Jeff Boat build these boats? Mm -hmm. He built that. Yeah, they built the American Queen. They got a, the, uh, 
They used to have lots of entertainment uh, things to come, they got to come up the room and stop there at yeah, 11 or 2. Really I've never heard of a water circus until I saw this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see. That's it. Yeah. Wow. So it's pretty special we've got the Ohio River on our county. Yeah, it really is. And I just wanted everybody to see what those people went through down there and show you a part of our history that's gone. Alvin Cornelius, I'm sorry. Oh, on the way. Alvin Cornelius was telling me today his mother in law lives in Doc Stevenson's house on Rose, Roosevelt, there from the road, you know, from, and he said that during the 37 flood, Roosevelt was the road that they used those tents. And he said they had so much, they, you know, they cooked, they, they did everything up there, and they used to call it Smoky Lane. That's where it was Roosevelt because there was so much, you know, they had to cook and school and laundry and everything else. And he said that was once called Smoky Lane. Well, I knew they had tents up around because there's old pictures somewhere around the overlook. Yeah. And it'll show those yeah. white across tents the road. across the road. Across so the road where they had tents sitting. Yeah. That's what it's tent about. Yeah. 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 Well, a good example. A good example and everybody helping everybody too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And another thing, those CCC camp boys that we had a meeting about here a while back, mm -hmm. they helped to take care of these people. Wow. Yeah. Now, final comment. I've got to say once again, apologize to Roberta and to all of you for not bringing that. This book that Roberta put together is fantastic. So next monthly meeting in March, I'll be sure and have it here. Okay. you got to see it. Is that book there available for us to be able to read? This one here? Uh, David is yeah. selling these, but this is my copy. Dude, I bought this from David, and I donated David it to the society. So you could come in here and look through it. Okay. I don't think there's any more of them. I think he sold them all. I think he sold them all. And I don't know if he ever did a second printing or not. <laughs> he, I, I, they tell me that they used to have one at the Leavenworth Library. Yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I don't yeah. know if English has one or not. Oh, we, we live right there. We yeah. yeah. Well, we got one here. Can I ask a question? We live in in a in a house that was moved from down in Old Leavenworth up on the right behind Stevenson's. There, it's it's like a 1937 house. Where do you think that house might have been sitting down in the Old Leavenworth? Boy, I can't even imagine how they got it up there. That's what I've thought about it a hundred <laughs> times. I can't even yeah. imagine it. How did they get it from down to the old town up? Not unless they took it out that other way. Well, no, they couldn't have got across that bridge. They had to take it out in pieces, too. You couldn't move all the house that kind of old bridge. They built a, a basement and then set that on, so I guess it was kind of prefab, maybe. Sherry's parents had a store down in Leavenworth for a while. We've been trying to figure out where that was. And we've been trying to find any kind of maps or information that says what was where. Yeah. And haven't found anything yet. Well, However, Roberta over at the annex, she got property yeah, records kind of, um, that would show that names of people and where the property was, was located. Yeah. And if you yeah, if you can find out the name of who owned yeah. it, then that might be the best. Question, question. Have you guys even... I've spent a little time in the general store there. See, in one got one the up. stuff they had there is phenomenal. I mean, yeah. the history that's there. They just, I'm going to have to go digging. I'm going to go in there and really go through everything they got. Because I want to know. Well, let us know what you want. <laughs> it will be interesting.